Hello everybody. In this uh, part of the solar system project, uh, we are going to learn how to uh, create the asteroid belt. We already have a system. I'm just going to remind you what this system looks like. Already have everything up to Mars. Things are not to scale, but uh, we probably shouldn't worry about that because we're just understanding some principles. Um, you're going to need some space, so let me just uh, stop these animations. You're going to need some working space, so uh, eventually you're going to have to do a lot of cleanup, moving things around, etc. But I'm going to move things uh, a little bit to make things tidy, and I want to have some space, so I'm going to select everything and move them maybe a little bit this way. Okay. Uh, so the asteroid belt, again, elliptical in nature, it's past uh, the orbit of Mars, Sun again at the uh, first focus. So Sun, I go to the ellipse tool that I created, Sun, uh, and then second focus outside, and then uh, let us create, oops, I'm running out of space here, I'm just going to create uh, something like that, okay, and back to the arrow. Uh, always a good idea again to create if you ever want to change the eccentricity of uh, the orbits let's create a button show hide button so hide show button uh, and this time let's name it so hide asteroid belt uh, orbit control points okay so let's hide those points and uh, maybe I'll put this one here for a second. Okay. So now the thing we are trying to do is to put a lot of lot of points on the asteroid belt because it's really kind of like a planet that exploded um, and you have many many uh, residue here. You could really get fancy and make multiple uh, orbits for different asteroids. I'm just going to use a singleton orbit, but I'm going to put there uh, uh, residue of different sizes. So let me just start with the biggest one so you can see this one. So I'm going to put a point here and I'm going to make that the largest possible one. Okay, and we could decide on the coloring of these etc. So I'm going to put a different random spacing bunch of giant sort of rocks. Uh, you could really get creative here and get busy. Okay, put a lot of these. Uh, and then we're going to put different points of different sizes. Oops, this last one you can see it didn't work. I couldn't land it. So I'm going to just undo this. Uh, always make sure things are landing where you're hoping they land. Okay, so I have some density of uh, large points. Now from this point on I'm going to change the size a little bit. I'm going to uh, make the next one to be medium size. So I'm going to put a bunch of medium size ones. Again different densities. Um, okay. So uh, you could get fancy here. I'm just going to populate it a little bit so we have something to look at, but I don't want to take too much of your time. And then I'm going to now put a few points that are small in size. So let's put a few ones uh, that are small in size, etc. Okay. So the key is now to have these all animated on this uh, orbit. First of all, let's make our orbit size. Uh, so select the orbit, uh, make the line style again thin. Uh, and what we need to do is create an animation where all these things are moving. And here you have to patiently select them. Uh, you could do clever things like select a range and then unselect, unselect. Uh, so I'm just going to keep selecting all the points that I can capture, but I have to eventually unselect the orbit so uh, hopefully I'm not omitting anything so once you have selected uh, all these points that are on the asteroid belt all these asteroids you are going to decide what kind of speeds you want to give them uh, what kind of uh, animations you want them to have 
So let's actually do a test if I uh, un hide unselect the orbit now I can see that two of these I did not select okay so let me just test it by deleting so I'm hitting delete button yep everything is gone and the beauty of geometry sketchpad you, there are no mistakes you can always undo a move so all of these guys came back now edit action button animation and it is gonna be um, animations galore with all kinds of options here I really uh, don't want to spend too much time changing the speeds of these things etc but you could really have a good time with it just making things different speeds etc so let's have uh, all of these guys uh, I wonder I can select uh, yeah, I'm just going to leave it as medium. This is where you could decide if you want them to be slow, fast, or some of them are slow, some of them are fast. Uh, so let's create a button for these guys. And I'm going to move it together. Uh, by the way, I'm going to uh, delete the earlier so, uh, presentation button because it has everything up to including Mars. So I'm just going to delete that. And now I'm gonna put my uh, I'm gonna name my other animation button. So let's call it animate the asteroid belt. Okay. So if you got fancy here, you'd have all kinds of uh, asteroids moving at different speeds, etc. I just want to test that. Yeah, not too bad. Okay. Uh, there's gonna be some kind of a, actually look look at this interesting behavior because. Uh, as they get to the sun, they speed up. You see some clustering effects. So this was actually uh, an interesting effect that I did not expect. But now look what's going to happen. Things are going to speed up. And this structure is going to disentangle. All right. So here is um, the collection. I'm going to select all the animation buttons. I'm going to turn them into a presentation button. Uh, and I'm going to... Again, call this uh, Roll the Solar System. Okay. And uh, hopefully you will see that here is a pretty complicated system with... Uh... Now, if you're not careful, look what happened here. Mars's orbit and the asteroid belt overlap. That's why it's important to have these uh, controls so you don't accidentally... Uh, have things overlapping so the moon orbit also could go slower I mean smaller so here you have a system uh, you could tweak things to your heart's desire they could be accurate not so accurate this is your solar system uh, the last last skill I don't I want to show you is I want to remind you that you could color the background uh, uh, anything you want so let's go to edit Preferences, color, background, you could decide. I like it to be space color. Okay. Uh, and actually, uh, yep, when you do that, you're going to notice the orbits are barely visible. So I'm going to just select the orbits of the planets. And I'm going to also go to my circle tool here. And I'm going to go uh, and select all the circles. Uh, what I want to do is I want to create a button which will simultaneously hide and show all of these uh, uh, paths, all of these, so that uh, it looks uh, realistic because in space, you know that there's an elliptical path, but you don't actually see the ellipse. So let's call this hide and show. Let's call them hide the orbits. Okay, you'll see the effect uh, in a second. I also want to make these uh, orbits here a different color so when we show them, they're actually really visible. Okay, so here is uh, the orbits in, in yellow. When I decide to hide them, they disappear, but, uh, okay. So let's roll the solar system. 
and uh, let's hide the orbits and you can start seeing uh, that the clockwork is beginning to form uh, obviously space is gonna be an issue if you're trying to create here nine of the planets remember Jupiter Saturn they have a lot of moons you don't have to obviously put all of them but definitely you may want to put the first biggest five or something like that uh, you need to work with your space economically this is one of the most important lessons in sketchpad uh, in terms of it's going to teach you a lot of organization to do a project of this scale uh, you need to have uh, a sense of what is coming ahead uh, what you need to do uh, to be able to accommodate uh, in this case uh, more planets alrighty so uh, I hope you have fun uh, and uh, please if you make some good progress uh, let me know Enjoy.